All right, YouTube. Uh, welcome to Mel's Place. Um, last Thursday, July 18th, I got on the BN and cranked it and drove it up to the yard to mow the grass, cut it off, and um, when I got back on it, hit the start mode the grease the mowing deck. When I hit the starter, it clicked, and that was it. And I thought, well, it's kind of odd, but I hit it a few more times. Said maybe I've got a bad starter switch while it was on the um, tractor I just got down and pressed the starter, excuse me, starter button here and it and I watched the battery cable kind of go limp I said okay so we've got something's locked up I put it in fourth gear and rocked the tire and watched the fan nothing would move so I said let me just start with taking the starter off because when it it engaged and then stopped so I pulled those two bolts out, pulled battery cables off, pulled the boat bolts out and um, uh, took this out and it was locked up and then I shook it a little bit and it went to uh, spinning again and then turned it over and it locked up again and just turned it by hand but I have and I've actually already cleaned some of this but I don't honestly know how the thing was even running and then out here they're on my bushes uh, brushes rather I'm drawing a blank right now I have to rename this when I get the video it's there's a, a pure ridge it's smooth transition to it but a pure ridge there but I've, I've turned this thing up and looked at it and I don't know, I guess it is showing up. That is the dirtiest thing I believe I've ever taken apart on a tractor. And I know just enough about these things to not be sure I know what I'm doing. But I'm going to see if I can't, maybe it's, I, I can't find anything loose. I thought maybe a, a brush had fell off and jammed it or something. There's no catch over here. And I can't find a spot anywhere else other than being full of dirt where I think anything has locked it up. But uh, that, that's today's project. I'm going to see if I can get this cleaned up and put back together. Maybe it'll go on that tractor. I don't know. Well, I've gotten all of this out of it. It's Certainly not clean enough to eat off of, but I can't find where I feel like all the brushes. The spring still seems good. They don't. I can't find anything, any witness marks or anything where it would have bound up. I don't know what happened. Um, I did. Take my cloth and polish this up a little bit, but what's um really interesting here? I mean, you can see it, but in the middle, 1.665 out here in the end, which I've already knocked down a little bit with the cloth, almost 1.7, about 8,000 short. So there's a pretty big difference there and the back measures 1.68 ish so I don't know I'll probably even if I get by with it this time I'm going to need a starter but I'm going to put a little more cleaning a little bit of work in it get it put back together and see if it'll work also I guess they had painted shut the uh, oil door here for the bushing on the back of the starter. So I've got it loose so I can put a little light oil in it every once in a while. Although yet itself doesn't appear to be all that much for worse for wear. But it, is, you know, it doesn't run that long. It's got a little flare out here but not much. 
So I totally forgot that was a five-handed job to get four brush springs held out and get a the shaft back in here, but I finally got it. So we're back together. I'm getting ready to run the bolts in it, put the nose cone back on, get the bolts in it. Um, see how we're going. So I decided while I had it out, this button arm on the starter had a pretty good bend to it. And it still has a little bit of one, but I made it a little better. I don't know, we'll see. Now it's probably going to jam up and not work at all, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Alright, so I'm back at the tractor. This is my very hastily put together way to keep the battery cable to the starter and the ignition coil and all connection isolated so I wouldn't ground it out. Um, I cranked it and cranked it. Worked the blister in because cold it's a little aggravating to do. Starts pretty well but half turn at a time on that hand crate sometimes a little annoying and I got it backed out from under the shelter and then she sputtered out and died and I've only got it to hit a lick or two since then I'm thinking I've got something in here not real well connected and it's, it's grounding out or shorting out so I'm gonna get that out get the starter put in and we'll see if she'll fire up today all right so it's back on um, those are three quarter and Years ago, I made the mistake of buying six-pointed box-in wrenches, and uh, this is where a 12-point is real handy. You've got just enough room to not quite turn anything, so you're doing a lot of twisting and all. I suppose even in the 30s when uh, International Harvester was doing this, the mechanical engineers were not paying too much attention to how easy it'd be to work on, at least in some spots. All right, got her all back together, got the battery hooked back up. But in my ongoing quest, I always forget parts. My starter rod, my foot pedal, like whatever you want to call it, I left up at the house. So I'm going to stand on the ground and start this. So we'll come up here to the dash, make 50,000 times sure she's out of gear. My totally incorrect ignition switch, check that out of gear again. I have no interest in getting run over. Throttle's probably okay. Let's see what she does. <laughs> 